Well, hello there, motherfuckers. So, I had to talk about this. I, I mentioned it in my Raw review about Braun Strowman and how the guy acts on Instagram and social media. And I've talked about this a lot of times. People like Finn Balor. These people on social media are just so annoying. Like, I, you guys know I like Braun Strowman. Adam Shear is a cool wrestler. He's got a good look. He's good in the ring. He's decent on the mic. You know, and, and like I said, last year it should have been his moment. He should have defeated Brock Lesnar for the title. He was super over with the crowd. Casuals and, and smarts agreed it was this man's moment. But... We see things online that are his fault and not, like dressing him up as an elf. Now, okay, maybe this is not his fault. You know, you want to be a yes man with the company. You're a newer guy. You probably don't want to turn down, you know, um, suggestions from management. Sometimes it's best to just go with the flow sometimes. But when you're a guy trying to portray a certain type of character like a monster and you're flipping over semis and you know toppling gigantic structures down upon others you know you probably don't want to dress up as an elf probably not a good idea for your image that would have been like if the undertaker dressed up like one or kane did it not a good look not a good way now i said like you know kayfabe is dead but you know, they still insist on doing kayfabe on TV. So I said, you know, the reason why also kayfabe should be dead is because all these wrestlers go out of their way to fucking make sure that that fucking shit is deader than dead when it comes to their social media accounts. Look at Rusev. Look at Adam Shear, Braun Strowman. Look at any of these guys. They're all a bunch of marks. They all, like show just how annoying and like just dislikable these people are in real life now i'm sure you know this is a guy that uh, you know he, he's for the second amendment and all that you know you, you see him all the time so you know me and adam sheer might be able to get along and everything you know you, you see it like his fitness post the guy's in great shape and so you know there's certain things that are cool on his instagram but then you have some random troll that is like giving him some problems. So also you could look back in his history. You could also see that he dressed up as Wonder Woman one time. It's just like, oh my God. There's also been at times too where he's made like cutesy selfie faces. And, and Baron Corbin is also another one who's guilty of that. And I don't understand like even if you're a big time smart, like these tough wrestlers... You know, especially like Finn Balor, like people love him so much and he's doing the freeze frame thing and then Triple H is doing it with them on social media. I'm like, oh, oh my God, please, please stop. Oh my fucking God. It's so cringeworthy. But Adam made me cringe so fucking much with his most recent post. One of his most recent posts anyway. Um... Now, we all know, for to preface this a little bit more, about the, uh, you know, the bully campaign that they had a few years ago, Be A Star. Remember how successful that was when Vince McMahon made fun of JR's Bell's Palsy? I know I talk about that a lot, but it, that is, to me, the epitome of an example of contradicting yourself to the maximum degree. So, let's talk a little bit more about this. So... Creighton Stud. You, there, there, there's a, a whole, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you guys can see it. Creighton Stud, and I'll also show it here. This is gonna be way too bright for anybody to see, so I'm gonna put it up on there. Uh, Creighton Stud is like showing Braun Strowman pictures of his sister, and you know, I think it's mostly with his sister. You know, he says 11 likes. You're some superstar. Then he another photo of his uh, sister he goes. You're not pretty. Then he says you're the worst. Just die. You ain't shit. You fat ugly cow. You're both disgusting. Damn, I knew bronze sis would be ugly as sin. And you know this is just a random guy. Like I talked about, I have haters on YouTube. 
I used to have a lot more. Just the other day, I deleted somebody when they were commenting on my, my YouTube, um, you know, my main profile, like comments page, not on the video, but, the, you know, they, they were just posting like just a massive amount of shit on there and just saying a lot of like nasty things about me and just stupid like trolling spam comments and that that's just how it's going to be people are always going to give you a hard time you're on the internet especially if you're a celebrity you're going to have haters so if you're Braun Strowman and you're a guy who's competed in front of, you know, thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of people. He's went out there at WrestleMania and, and competed in front of like 80,000 fucking people. You, you, you really realize just how massive the world is and how many people are in it. And someone like Braun Strowman should realize that one man's opinion is so minuscule and so tiny when you compare it to how many people are living in this country and all around the world. So, we don't even know where this guy is posting from or anything like that. But Adam Shear goes on to say, Hashtag, make this trend. This beyond pisses me off. It's one thing to attack me because you're not a fan of me, but attacking my family is straight bullshit. And it's a load of crap that Instagram says this isn't bullying and doesn't fit their guidelines of bullying. Something needs to be done about this. The people that do this need to be found and punished for it. Stuff like this is such a huge problem in the world. Today, it causes people to kill uh, their cells, shoot up schools, and so on. This is a problem, and it needs to be fixed. Help bring light on this to stop cyberbullying. Do something, Instagram, stop bullying with the hashtags on it. And, you know, it's just like, this is a guy... Who just a few months ago was bullying Kevin Owens on TV. And, and Kevin Owens was a bad guy that bullied many other people. Including Vince McMahon. Headbutting him. Busting him open. You, you know what I'm saying? Like The, the, the storyline was that Adam Shearer's character Braun Strowman was bullying another guy. He even like trapped Owens inside... Um, a porta potty, dumped it over so all the shit and stuff went all over him. All just blue stuff, but whatever the case may be, he embarrassed the guy. He flipped over his car. He made Kevin Owens look weak as hell. He made him a laughing stock. And here, Adam Shear, and I know people can say, "Oh, but that's kayfabe." Oh, you know that's uh, you know. But but the thing is, WWE starting to put out a message, right? And if kayfabe is dead. Then why are they showing that shit on TV? And then Adam Shear wants to come here on Instagram and start, you know, talking about a guy who, you know, I don't even know if that guy has any followers of any significance whatsoever. You know, and, and, and he's complaining about it and he's bitching and he's getting all upset. And it's just like, bro, it's just one person on Instagram and everybody else heckles so many other wrestlers so much more i mean for example when finn balor put out the picture on instagram that said dinner time with his groin pointed towards the crowd people gave him shit and rightfully so so you know this person has no fucking life you're right bullying is a huge problem and everything but it, 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 it's like what you need to understand, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to use your celebrity to try to solve a problem, make an example and everything. But you don't understand. You have an image to uphold. You are playing this character on TV where you're the big bully and you're bullying everybody around and everyone that's smaller than you. And I have no qualms about that whatsoever because that's your character on TV that you're trying to portray. But then you've also got millions of Instagram followers that are, you know, that are seeing you in a different light, and it's just very distracting. It it, it is, you know, it, it's like all these people in Hollywood with all the big mouths and everything, like Robert De Niro. It's you know, you try to separate the art from the artist, but sometimes it's extremely hard. For example, like the creator of Rick and Morty. If I knew that, I would, I'm, I've never been a big fan of Rick and Morty. But if I were a big fan of Rick and Morty, 
I probably would never watch that show again. And now that I know what I know about that guy, I will never fucking touch that show with a 10-foot pole. Sometimes it's almost impossible to try to separate the art from the artist because the artist is such a fucking horrible person. But I'm not saying that Adam Shear is a horrible person. What I am saying is sometimes in cases like this, it just makes Adam look kind of like just sad in a way. And I know he's trying to do a good thing, but it's really not necessary. And when you're a celebrity of this level, it's like, you know, you don't need to really put yourself out there like that. You don't need to be sending these messages. And I know that a message like this doesn't seem polarizing, but it kind of is because it makes you look like a social justice warrior. This is like something on the internet that like, I'm sorry, it's just never going to be helped. People have a lot of mental disabilities. Usually people that are bullies usually have certain problems with the way they act. They usually have like parenting issues. Their parents weren't there for them. There's reasons why people act in a certain way. Behavior has a a lot to do with one's environment. And there's been so many studies. Go ask a psychologist. You'll understand a lot more. Go read up on this, you know, and you'll be much wiser about bullying besides what people say. You know, every time people talk about bullying, they talk about it in a very general manner. You you know, they, they go like, oh, it's something that needs to be stopped. You know, it's almost like they've been programmed like a fucking robot to say this type of shit instead of really getting into the specifics and the psychology of it. Because that's what America likes. That's what people, you know, they're, they're, as they sip their Starbucks, they're like, yeah, that bullying's bad. Let's stop that. And then go about texting on your phone. It's like people love to act like they care about shit, but they really don't. And I'll, and I'll say like, you know, just because... Braun or Adam is, you know, writing this in caps. You you get the impression, oh, he's super angry about it. I don't know. It, it could also be that he wants to look good for the company too. Oh, look what I'm doing with my social media account. I'm standing up for people. This is good for my image. It's like, no. It's like, how come Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's not even an active member of the roster, how come you never see him doing this SJW garbage? How come you never see him doing all, like all this like ridiculous shit that all these other wrestlers do online, like cutesy faces and all that? It, it just is like a normal IG profile, basically, you know. Or if you want to be like The Rock, put inspirational posts up. There's nothing very. Di- Once in a while, he's put up a political post where I was like, Ugh, you know, but they're few and far between. And, and, and they were kind of general without saying any names. So I give The Rock a pass. But like Adam right here is just going full force with like, yeah, let's do something about bullying. Let's lynch these bullies. Like, okay, I know he didn't say lynch them, but I, I, I'm just saying it's like, you know, it's very heavy, heavy handed. It's a bit too much. It's not necessary, you know, we're not going to solve this problem as bullying. I, I, I know. Oh, wow. We're not going to. Of course not. Just like we're never going to stop criminals from committing crime because as long as people exist, there will be bad people and people will say negative things. You won't be able to stop that. It's impossible. I know that's hard for people to, like, you know, be able to manufacture that in their brain, but there's a lot of pe- bad people out there in the world. I would even venture a guess that, you know, just as many good people as there are, there's bad people. That's how it is usually. Okay, may, maybe just to give people hope, it might be 60% good people, 40% bad people. And some people are not good or bad. Some people are just fucking jabronis and they're just like, you know, zombies. And they're not, that might be bad, and but it's also not good. But that doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. So... I don't know what to tell you guys. I, it's just, I, I, I was bothered by this. I was like, you know, this guy's kind of just kind of burying himself. And I know this probably won't really amount to much, but it's just a point of what I talk about every week in my reviews about how social media has completely fucking killed kayfabe. I look at shit like this, and this is just another nail in the coffin, basically. 
I, I mean, you know, just SJW Braun Strowman. It, 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 I mean, could you imagine like Braun with like a big pair of thick glasses and a beanie? You it, know, it, 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 he's screeching as he's put yeah, as he's pushing over the semi, and then after he finishes the the, the se- pushing over the semi, he takes a sip of his soy latte. Mmm, refreshing. I mean, just yeah. No, okay. I, I think that's enough. I think you guys get the picture. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you were entertained. Hit a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit a thumbs down if you think I'm being unreasonable. Oh, you suck. No, but anyway, hit the bell so you get all the notifications when I post my new videos. Check out some of the other videos I have posted here. And this has been your YWC Champ, and I'm signing out.